Like that. Ta -da! Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today, as you can see, I'm on the beach, but I'm on a different beach. You can't tell where I am yet because Blackpool Tower's over there and the big one. But I'm in Blackpool with Luke. We got Lukey. Hey! Come down to his well, up to his domain today. So we're going to get out on here, which is Glitter Ball. The Glitter Ball's over there. But you'll probably see bits of it in the video at some point. So we're going to get out there or over there and see what we can find. We'll see you in a bit. Catch you in a bit. There we go, Lukey's just had a coin, and this is my first signal. Can you see it just by there? Ah, pre oh, he's beat me, he's got pre-decimal. Mine's a 2p. Woo! What is it? What pre-decimal you got? 1920, George the fifth. Oh, half penny. Oh, damn it, I sought you for 2p. Only a couple of feet away from that last 2p, just at a 95, 96. When I dug it out, it's a 97. I can just about see it. Can you see it? I can't hear you. Right, there. Got to be another one, isn't it? Yep, another 2p. I'm 4p rich. Lukey's just got another coin. <laughs> I'm on an 87, 88 in the water. Sounds like a coin. There we are, look, that was an 86. Took some digging actually under the rocks. And it's a key. Woohoo! It's the first key. It's the key to Blackpool Tower. No, well, might be oldish. Oh, cool, yeah. That's an old. That's just got an old key. I just had that as well. Eh? Woohoo! <laughs> Golf ball. <laughs> <laughs> right. On that white rock, look, there's 2p. 96. Right there. Another 96. Two peas everywhere. Spent a fortune of them over the last week in the arcades. Well, there they are, look. One, two, P. Two, two peas. Woohoo! Don't mind that at all. There's Lukey Lett. He's just had a couple of signals there. I think he just had a penny. And I've just had an 88, and it's one of them. My first bit of Lancashire lead. Nice fishing weight. I'll go in the scrap bucket. Oh, it's a four, look. We just had a golf joke saying four. <laughs> you missed it anyway, so you won't get it. All right, this one was an 88. Pretty sure it was out. Oh, is it that? It's a bit of that. <laughs> oh, no idea. Rubbish. I wish I'd have shown this signal really, it was a beautiful, really tight, crisp 92. And I can see it there, I've not uncovered it yet, that's as much as I've seen. But I just shouted Lukey, it's a big one penny. Lukey's favourite. Oh, I just noticed I've got mud splattered all over me. And it's shiny, oh look at that. Hold on, I'll give you the full glimpse. Oh wow, look at that, 1930, so it's George V. Look at the condition of that like it was dropped yesterday all right this is a 91 could it be another one another big penny don't know because there was an 89 in there every now and again but that's 90 91. well i got it out in the first scoop and i can see something there i've not touched it yet it looks like a an unusual shape but I, i've got a feeling it's going to be a key Oh, hello. 
Oh, what is that? Oh, wow. Oh, Lukey, you're going to like this. I think it's an earring or something, but it's really fancy. Look at the colours on that. I'll just give it a wash. Oh, look at that. I like that a lot. I thought it was a keyhole. That's really pretty. Well, I'm only a few feet away from that little earringy enamely thing. And this is a 92.93. It's out. Please don't be rubbish. Oh, it's a coin. That's going to be a penny at those numbers, isn't it? Yeah, 1p. Spendable, though. Another one up. Literally not very far from the um, last penny. Doing a little area, and I've got a couple of signals around here. This is an 87, so I don't think it's a 2p, and I'm sure I've seen Georgia 5th on the other side. There we go, look. I can't see the date. Yeah, Georgia 5th half penny. Second breed decimal, get in. Have I got any clean water? I haven't. There's a little bit there. <laughs> it's not very clean. No. Yeah, well happy with that. Another pre decimal. Okay. Well, Lukey's just found a nut. And I've just found a 2p. Yeah, look at that, look. Nice clean 2p, 1978. Well, this one's just taken me a fortnight to extract. Could feel it with the pinpointer, but I just couldn't get it with my fingers. And that's how it's just popped out. Got to be a big penny and it's going to be in good nick again. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's even better than the last one. 1938, Ooh. look at that. Pristine. That's so good it's disgusting. Oh my god, look at that. Let's give, it a, give it a quick wash. Wow. That's probably the best condition one I've ever found. Another 96. Can only mean it's a 2p. Just got it out there. Yeah, look at that, look. Another clean 2p. In the pot towards the Harley. He's had a Gaza special. Hold on, just watch me break my neck on film. No, it's only Elizabeth II. 1955. Nice condition though. Cool. Better than a one piece. Boom, threat me bit. I think this one's out. Possibly. It was a 93, so could it be another big... Oh, oh it's going to be a small penny. Yeah, there we go, a little penny. A little spendable penny. There we go, that's my next one up. I think it was a 90-something, I can't remember now. But yeah, bottom of like a 303, something like that. Definitely seen better days. The first bullet. I just managed to pull this one out with the wire. I couldn't get it. It's an 87, quite deep in the hole. There we go. Another fishing weight for the collection. Right, just an 84. Not that. Oh, it's a coin. Oh yeah, look at that. Another half penny. Oh yes. There he is, look at that. 
Uh, 11? Oh, I'm over the moon with that, another pre-decimal. Lovely loud 88 in there. I say it's loud, I'm deaf in my right ear, like completely, I can't hear a thing, so. My ear's gone a bit funny. I'm gonna guess a half penny. Well, that's literally how I just got it out of the hole. So there we go, it's a fishing weight. Lukey's over there, look, he's just had a wren farthing. Nice. Well, I got a fishing weight. Oh God, there's a first for me. That was a 73. Looks like a possible nine millimeter and it's live. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh dear. What do I do with that now? Obviously I'll dispose of it correctly in the right manner. I'll lob it at a wall. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Cool. Alright, I've got a lovely little 86 here. And it's a tiny little decimal half penny. Look at that, there's the queen. And you can just about tell that it's a little 70s half penny. Well, that was a little 38. Random bit of strip of lead with a line down it. I mean, look how bendy that is. 100% old lead. But what it was, I'll never know. Another one up, this one was a 94. I thought it was going to be a 2p, but it looks like a funny coin. Let's say 1p. Is it Irish? Oh, it is, look. It's an Irish penny. 1971, that's cool. Something slightly different, isn't it? Like that. It's probably like a peacock or something on it. That's really cool. Got the harp on it for Ireland, look, and Ire. 1971, I like that. You can't see the screen, but that's an 86, 87. I'm going to guess a half penny. Well, I think I'm wrong, because I think it might be that. Oh. I don't even think that's a bullet. No idea. I think it's just a bit of brass. Cool. All right, this one was an 87 and it's in this. 87, I'm not sure that could be a crusty 2p, so. I don't advise people to smash things open at the beach because they could be grenades, but this one's not. Um, I think it's just going to be a lump of, yeah, it's just a lump of aluminium, I think. Yeah, there we go, broke it, look, really light, just a bit of aluminium. No treasure today. Well, another one, this is a lovely 84, and I can just see what looks like a coin, it's come out under the water. Oh yeah, look, another half penny. Oh, look. Oh, it's Edward the Seventh. Oh, I'm over the moon with that. Don't find many Edward the Sevenths. Woohoo! Well, that's, I think you can see that one. This was a 91, and I wasn't expecting a two pound coin. It's a two pound coin with, I'm not sure if that's Stevenson's rocket or the first one, but yeah. And I've literally just noticed a surface find right next to where I am, so I'll show you that in a second. Two quid! I literally just put the machine here, look, and as I was looking, look, there's a pair of glasses. And they're complete. Lovely. I can't see a thing. Oh, it's dripping down my face. Oh, it's probably leeches on it crawling in my ears. Oh. <laughs> Right, we're 
out on the sand now. Just Oh, it's a bullet. Oh, look at the size of that, look. That's a beautiful. We're in Lukey's bullet spot. First signal here. Whopping great three ringer bullet. Nice old Victorian one, that. Love it. Oh, we've got another 84. This time it looks like a Martini Henry. Oh, no. I don't, yeah, I think it's a bit short for a Martini Henry. That's a nice, complete lead bullet. Look at that. Got the firing marks on it. Got the rifle in. What a view, look at that. Absolutely love Blackpool. Right. Another 84, look at the size of that. Whopping great big bullet. Like that. That's a perfect one as well. outro out of the way because the tide is just about to get us it's literally 15 feet that way and it's coming in pretty fast it's coming in fast it is <laughs> gonna hurry it up <laughs> yeah i had an absolutely fantastic day out with luke today we've both done really well i'd say luke's probably one with the best finds that cat badge is just beautiful you'll see that in his video didn't expect that that was just a beautiful little bit of militaria yeah, had some nice bullets at the end. I think I dug about, dug about five or six in the end. Yeah, fantastic. Got some old coins, some new coins, bits and bobs. But thoroughly enjoyed it. I had a beautiful day in the gorgeous sunshine in the Costa del Blackpool. <laughs> Absolutely loved it. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Take If you'd like to send a donation to the channel, you can do this in the form of Buy Me A Coffee. There is a donate button on the header of my main YouTube channel. Just there, look. All the money goes back into the channel, and it's so appreciated, you would not believe. Thank you all so much for your support.